Hello all and welcome to the Mug Life DIY. I am Julia and I am so excited that you decided to stop by my channel. Today I decided to get this Walmart little DIY geode canvas and kind of give you a walkthrough demonstration slash review slash all of the above in this fun little piece. Now this cost me $19.99 at my local Walmart in the craft section. So let's jump in and see if I think it is worth 20 bucks. All right, I thought it would best as I am opening it and unboxing it for you guys that I can read a little bit of the instructions for the DIY geode canvas. The brand of this from Walmart is Mindful Makers. So throughout the little process instructions that it gives you, it has these like little mindful tips. So that's, I guess, a little bonus. Uh, you know, if that's what you're into. Um, it does come with a paintbrush, five mixing sticks, plastic gloves, glitter shaker, four acrylic paints, a hexagon canvas, liquid resin part A, liquid resin part B, and pink tempera crushed glass. Now, these are the things that you will need to do this project. You'll need a pencil, eight disposable cups, water, plastic tarp or trash bag, a smock, it says optional, paper towel, hair dryer, optional, and a spoon. And then it says, before you release your creativity, there are a few things you should know. First, the resin is permanent, and so are the acrylic paints. That means they will leave stains on clothing and furniture. Before you begin, lay down that protective covering on your design area, like a plastic tarp or a trash bag. Wear a smock or an apron, or just like me, just wear your clothes. You don't, you know just like me, <laughs> put on the included plastic gloves, which are in a smaller little plastic bag. And second, keep a, or nope, I missed something. Um, hmm, I lost my place on the thing. That's, uh, put on the included plastic gloves before you start creating. If some wet resin gets on your hands, use hand sanitizer or rinse with soap and water. Second, keep a cup of water and some paper towels nearby. You'll need them when you're rinsing off your paintbrush and switching the colors. All right, the first thing that I noticed was this little geometric canvas was a lot smaller, of course, than the picture on the box. So be mindful of that. It is wrapped up in protective plastic, so you have to take that apart. That is the tempered glass. And I just had some Dollar Tree paper cups on standby, you know, I'm that life. <laughs> and those are the little plastic gloves. Now they are huge and they were definitely hard to work with. So if you have smaller gloves, I would definitely recommend that unless you have larger hands. But if you have smaller hands like me, it is going to be a little bit difficult to use these plastic gloves. Now I would assume that they are latex free. I do have a latex allergy, so that's a little, you know, bonus if you are allergic to latex like me you can wear these gloves now the first step it literally says find a cozy space in a well-lit area where you can disconnect from the outside world well if you are a mom of three or more like me not really possible unless it is at nighttime but it does say for step one two and three to just basically start that's prep work and starting um, I just started, it says to kind of decide where you would like to paint and just start basically. This first layer, they called it the base layer or the base coat. And I really felt like this layer was kind of pointless. I took all of this time. I really thought about the design and I was like, oh yeah, this will be fun. And along the way, I definitely, it, it ended up not looking anything like the design that I had in mind. So just be aware of that. Don't overwork the piece because it will be pointless as you add all of the other layers on top. So just be mindful of that when you start this project. Then I took four of my paper cuts paper cups and put about half of the paint in each one then it said you need to apply the mixed resin which was part a and part b it said to mix about half of it in a separate cup so you're going to mix half of both parts into the cup and it said to stir it quickly for about two minutes to make sure that it is very well mixed but it doesn't set 
Then you evenly distribute that amount to all four of your paint cups. Then you take your colors of resin and it said also to use your extra cups to prop up your canvas, but you'll see what happens to my cups later on. I went ahead and started mixing that resin really well into the paint and then I just started to pour. Now it just got goopy. It definitely got sloppy and I wasn't a fan. So I don't know, maybe use the stir sticks and kind of lightly pour or dribble the paint. Not sure about that. So then I just kind of started to add the um, next color, which was the purple and word to the wise for the darker color or for the black. I did it last and I would use a lot less than I did. I believe I definitely used way too much because it is an overpowering color. It will cover up and blend way too much in all of your colors. So I tried to use a little bit less, but apparently still used too much because once I started blending the colors together, mm, that black just killed all of my other really pretty and bright so colors. So I had chosen the optional route of using the blow dryer. I actually had it on a low setting and it still blew. Yeah, you see, that's what happened to the cups. They blew over. It started to get so messy. I was so just frustrated at this point that all of my colors just blended and murked out. So not too happy with that. So at this point, I'm already seeing it. It's just reminding me of, you know, a Jason Pollock, you know, abstract painting at this piece. It's not a geode. It's not a beautiful, mindful piece. I am frustrated and I am angry and I am trying to fix it. And so if you are a messy crafter slash painter like me, this will not be the project for you. I would say less is more in this approach and I just can't figure that out. I kept trying and was like, yeah, I got this. I'm gonna less, less is more. And still so hard. I was so frustrated at this point. So I decided to kind of wiggle and tap to see if that would help blend out the colors anymore, but it didn't. But I definitely do what I do best and I finish it and just kept going, even as frustrated as I was. So I thought adding the pink glass would help and the glitter and I don't know. Anyways, I added those just kind of sporadically towards the center and the outside edges. And here I'm still trying to fix it and added a little bit more white to the darker, more murky areas and just complete chaos ensued on this poor geometric canvas. The final last few steps are just to take some more of the clear resin part A and part P and mix together and give it a top protective coat. Yeah, so I did that. At this point, I am so sticky. My gloves keep sticking. I am angry at this piece at how muddy it looks. And, but what do I got to finish it? I have to, I just have to finish this murky, geometric, abstract craziness. So having my little canvas dry overnight, the resin definitely evened out and I don't know, it blended it really nicely and I wasn't as mad <laughs> towards the end, but I definitely wanted to finish off the piece and give it a nice just together frame. So I took some Dollar Tree super glue and a Dollar Tree octagon, or not an octagon, <laughs> a hexagon frame in black, and I glued the two pieces together. So y'all definitely know I am always brutally honest with you guys. And I was not a fan of the size of this little canvas. I was a little bit disappointed at how small it was. Definitely got frustrated with the blending of the resin and the paints, but overall it was a fun project. I like the end result. It would be a really fun project to do maybe with some friends where all of you guys could get the same piece and do it together like on a wine night. That would be a lot of fun. So did I think this little DIY geode canvas for $20 at Walmart was worth it? Well, I guess it just all depends on your personal amount of money you like to spend for a craft. 
I love Dollar Tree DIYs and recycling and thrifting. So for me, it came down to the price of $20 not being worth it. I definitely think you could find these items for much cheaper or a close and larger size for the same price. So if you do wanna do it with some family or friends, definitely recommend it, but to each our own. And I will see all of you guys next time.